friends welcome back to another renee's corner video i'm tanisha renee and today we are going to be talking about my practicum experiences that i've had over the last four years here at um st louis university um so if you don't know i think most of you know that i am in a clinical psychology phd program and so part of our training is doing practicum experiences and i have had quite a few i think i've had one two three four five practicum experiences and um, they've all been very different and I love that for me because I love trying new things so that's not true trying new things is very very scary but I like to do it in the context of practicum so my very 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 first practicum was in a school I taught social emotional skills to pre-k through third graders I mainly focused on like behavioral interventions for symptoms of ADHD and disruptive behaviors. Um, we did a lot of work on recognizing emotions inside our bodies, inside ourselves, and like what do we do when we have really big emotions. And um, as you can tell by how I'm talking about this, it was with children, um, I'm trying to think what else. Predominantly black kids, um, I think that's the only setting that was predominantly black which makes me kind of sad but um it was so fulfilling like it's still one of my favorite practicums to talk about because i just it brought so much joy to my heart and i think it was like a good first practicum after you know transitioning into SLU and it being uh, predominantly white me coming from an hbcu and then going into this really really black school it just Felt really great so yes um social emotional skills behavior management i also did some consultation with teachers about um classroom management behavior strategies to use in their whole classroom blah 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 it was great so number two i worked in a home with uh people a residential home for people with intellectual disabilities and or developmental disabilities um it was mainly consulting work where like I wasn't really working with the patients or the clients there. Sorry, my nose is itchy because I've been talking a lot today and that's what happens when I talk a lot. So anyways, so uh, at the residential home, I was in charge of one home and I basically did behavior intervention plans, um, behavior management strategies for the staff to use for the people with intellectual disabilities, especially when they were doing behaviors that were like self-harmy harming other people um, and other just like problematic adaptive functioning things and or like if they were bullying other people in the home things like that and so it was a lot of paperwork but it was um, mainly so that the houses could continue to operate and continue to get government funding and so we would do testing to make sure that their um, abilities and making sure that the homes were the right placements for them, if that makes sense. And so we do some cognitive testing, some adaptive functioning testing, et cetera, to make sure that living in the residential home was in their best interest. Um, so yeah, that was probably the most like paperworky practicum I had. Um, I think it was really fun, it was really interesting. I loved the house I was at. Um, it was a lot more politicking than I was used to, but it was still very good. So those two experiences were in my second year. So now moving on to my third year, I had two different placements. I had the Autism Center, which I have talked, I think extensively about on the channel, but the Autism Center was an interdisciplinary team with uh, occupational therapist, so not social work, speech language, speech language pathologist, a psychologist, a person with a PhD in special education, and um, sometimes we have physical therapists and sometimes we have other people join our interdisciplinary team. I learned so much about autism there. It was very cool. Um, it was in COVID, so like COVID friendly autism assessments. Um, we didn't give the ADOS, which is typically what people give for autism. We did like a modified social interaction and we as a team would code the social interaction and um yeah so i just felt like that was like a good flexing of like what i know what i don't know 
and merging the two and also being flexible in the time of COVID so that none of us were getting sick. We weren't getting any of these kids sick. Um, there I saw, oh, I guess I didn't say this about the residential home. I saw all adults there, so adults with inte intellectual disabilities. And then the autism center I saw as young as four. Yeah, he was four and then I saw as old as like 19-ish. Um, so mainly kids and teenagers, it was very great. I think that was probably one of the best practicum experiences I had. Um, I love the team. I love the interdisciplinary part of it. It was just really fulfilling and also just like so, like I was so involved in every piece of the uh, evaluation. It just felt really good. So then also in my fourth year, I was at St. Louis Children's Hospital. I actually have a video of when I shadowed there for the first time, very cool, um, somewhere on the channel. But basically I worked in a chronic pain clinic um, for kids and teenagers and sometimes like very, very, very young adults um, at the Children's Hospital. Basically it was a multidisciplinary team that was made up of anesthesiologists, a social worker, physical therapist, nurse practitioner, holistic doctor, and a psychologist, like a health psychologist. Um, it was a part of a grant. It was, I think, probably really cool. I feel like I learned a lot about being a health psychologist, a lot about being in a medical center, how quickly it moves. Um, what else did I... Yeah, it was just like a very different type of setting where I feel like all the other settings that I've been on were like slow, go at your own pace, however fast you get it done, is you get it done. But at the Children's Hospital, it was like your one interaction with this kid is likely going to be your one interaction. And so how are you going to make the best of that time? How are you going to make the most? Like, are you going to give them like a little nugget of intervention as you're getting to know them, doing pain assessments, etc.? Um, so there I mainly did pain assessments um, and focused on like functional, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like functional impairment. So like how is your pain getting in the way of X, Y, and Z that you do want to do? And how can we get you to doing the things that you want to do in spite of your pain? So it's a very um, different kind of mindset, I think, than what people come into chronic pain clinic looking for a lot of time people are like I want you to fix my pain and so health psychologists in chronic pain often come at it from this angle of like okay yeah we can try these pain management strategies but what happens if that doesn't work like how can we also do both at the same time you doing the things you want to do and also attempting to manage your pain so that was long-winded about St. Louis Children's um so that was Children's it was great I learned a lot um, it was exhausting, but it was such good work. Like I just, I always felt really proud and really like happy about the interactions I had with kids there. Um, especially because I got to like use like my knowledge of pop culture, about anime, about superheroes. And it just like, I don't know, it warms my heart just thinking about it because like I know I did some good work there. So very last placement is um, the private practice I'm at now. I am mainly a psychometricist. So what that means is I just do testing. I Well, okay, I just do testing. So I'll give IQ and achievement testing. I do self reports, I do parent reports and teacher reports. Um, it's very straightforward. Like do the testing, write the report. Do the testing, write the report. It's like, um, what's the word? Very cookie cutter. Like I don't feel like I'm having to do a lot of thinking at this point um, in my training just because it is, Sorry, do, do, do. Um, just because like I know what I'm doing, like I can give a whisk in my sleep at this point. Like I, I, I know I felt like that last year, but now I've given at least 15, 20, I've written at least 20 reports just in this last, like since I've been there since the summer. Sorry, oh my gosh, my nose. Gosh, I'm gonna have to cut all that out. Okay, so what I was saying was before my nose started um, working, um, it's very affluent. Uh, it's, I don't think I've seen any kids of, I think I may, okay, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I think I may have seen two kids of color out of maybe the 20 I've seen. So very affluent, very white. 
um, learning to work with that population, things that they consider to be problematic or things that like, you know, like I have to adjust my framing and thinking about. Lots of the kids that I test here are highly gifted, like IQs in the 137s. Um, very gifted children, very smart. Um, so yeah, it's very straightforward. I feel like it's very cookie cutter, but it feels good in my last year to do assessments like this. And that's all. I mean, I guess another practicum technically I'm doing is the Wheeler. Um, you all saw last week's video, I was honored with the Wheeler assistant, but that's a research placement. I don't do any clinical work with that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything, I think. Um, I mean, I've had some experience in shadowing at the HRC, which is like a health, health research center. I think that's what it's called. Um, I've done probably a couple of clinics there on the weekends. Not very many because my weekends are kind of packed, but that is like a free medical place where like med students and psychology students will um, go and provide service. <gasps> Excuse me, will go and provide services. I've also shadowed at this place for people with addictions um, where it's like a recovery center and so there's lots of peer mentors and stuff like that. I worked there for, well I didn't work there. I shadowed there for probably about, I don't know, four or five days. I'm trying to think where else I've shadowed. Oh, I also shadowed at Family Care, which is in a place in St. Louis. Um, I never worked there, but some of the students have worked there. It's also like a medical office, sort of like the same thing with St. Louis Children's Hospital, but like more for primary care type of situations. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting any placements I've done, but I really think that's everything. Like I do two second year, two third year, and one fourth year. Um, and yeah, I feel like I've just learned so much and each setting has been so different. And I just feel like it makes me a little more flexible in my methods. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions about the practicum experiences I've had, um, leave them below. I'll answer as much as I can. Like clearly, clearly I cannot talk about like the clients I saw there. Um, in specifics but I can tell you as much as I can otherwise so yeah thanks so much for watching I'll see you in the next one hopefully my nose won't be so itchy and I love you all so much if you watch this far leave an orange emoji and yeah I'll see you next time peace